Here we are on the last day of 2023 out on the Altamaha River and I am set out on a mission. I'm going to try to see if I can beat a record. Are you ready? Yep, that's right. I'm gonna see if I can beat a record. Back during the summer, Hunter and I filmed a video, uh, I'll put a link to it down in the description if you have not seen it yet, where I tried to see what the stole performance of the old Avid Flyer really was like. And uh, now that was in the summertime, it was very hot, very humid, and still could take off and land and sub 300 feet. Well, that was in a controlled environment. So I wanted to come out here today on an actual sandbar on the Altamaha River and decide, hey, for one last time to end 2023, let's see if the Abbey Flyer is a true backcountry machine. Let's get it. All right, so you may be asking yourself, why in the world did I pick this spot? Well, just look at this playground that it is. Now the river's high right now, so the number of sandbars I'm, I have at my disposal are limited. But look at this playground that I had to work with today. Let's talk about this for a second. What does success look like? For today's mission, the success is to beat my takeoff and landing performance of uh, the last record distances I have. Here we go. The sun is going down on us. It's still windy above the trees. It's kind of dying down some down below the trees, but well, when I turn crosswind and downwind, I've got a heck of a tailwind. I'm going to try not to bounce it. Try to get a good stable approach. The winds have died down some. That's helping with my approach. I problem is I can't hardly see where I'm going. Stop. I gotta be. I have to try to do this real quick. All right. That's my whole way of marking. I'm gonna try to get one more. All right, I'm running out of daylight. And my goal is simple, just to get one more. Ready? Let's go. Oh, I drug the tires a little bit, pulled it a little too early. The problem I got is once I get down, I'm landing right into the sun so I can't see. I'd be in business. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, 140 feet on the first takeoff. That's a massive improvement since my last uh, recorded measurement at the airport. 140 feet on my takeoff. Uh, running out of daylight though. Gotta hustle, gotta hustle. All right, my first landing, 310 feet. Um, it actually, I felt good about the landing. It was just, it's, you know, it's again, my same story about the brakes. I'm still using mechanical brakes. I'm mostly relying on my, um, my tail wheel to dig in the sand and get me stopped. So 310 feet, don't you worry though, uh, when Kenneth gets back from cruising, we're gonna do some work on the brakes. So hurry up Kenneth, get home. Um, all right, real quick, I can't really make out my second takeoff because of all the wheel marks, but I can easily march backward from my landing here and catch my second landing, which was a little better, I think. So I'm going to measure it real quick. Second landing, uh, really no better, 306 feet. Um, again, using these mechanical brakes is just not much stopping power. Um, man, what if a beautiful afternoon. When I first started this flying, it was windy, but it's starting to get dark, so I gotta head back to the airport. What defines success? Well, there's a lot of things in life I can look back on in 2023 and consider it success. At work, big multi-million dollar project we've been rolling out and working on, and by all accounts and measurements, it's been a success. As you can tell from watching this channel, it's uh, had some growth this year. We have viewers from all over the world, bringing a lot of people along for our adventures. Seems like maybe inspiring some people to get out and uh, get back current and start flying, and that's really the mission behind this whole operation. As much work as it is, it's been worth it to see the, the inspiration coming out of it, so that's been awesome. I think you could call that a success. But at the end of the day, for me, has this year been successful? Well, um, I was planning on taking off this past week of work anyway between Christmas and New Year's uh, to spend time with the kids. And right before that, unfortunately, it got a bad strand of the flu. I thought it was gonna take me out. The point is though, is just a couple days ago, I was just hanging out with my son and he uh, probably thought nothing about it, but he reached over, he gave me a hug and he said, Daddy, thank you for being home during Christmas. And uh, <laughs> that'll hit you right in the feels. But of all the things we've done this year that could be measured as a success, that was the check in the box that said, you know what, this has been a successful year. We've been on great adventures. Uh, we've made great memories with family. We've made new friends and developed new memories with them as well. And what can I say except thank you guys for coming along for the adventure. I hope you're having as much fun with it as we are. So I've got to get an airplane and get going. I've said it enough already. So um, 2024 is here. What's next? <laughs>